I've got a DIY gift wrapping hack that you are going to love and it's going to help you all season long. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so tis the season. Everybody's wrapping gift presents right now for people and holiday gifts and end of year and New Year's gifts and everything. And uh, I thought about this idea and I did this back in like March of last year. And I have to say, this has been an absolute lifesaver for me. And I wanted to share it with all of you guys because um, I know that a lot of you are super generous. You love to give gifts, you love to give presents. Maybe you're invited to a dinner party or something and you're having to um, you know, pull together something for a hostess gift and we are going to create a DIY gift wrapping station that it takes almost no storage at all and you will literally have stuff that you can wrap gifts with all year long. Now this is a Christmas tradition for me just kind of sitting in my bathrobe in front of the Christmas tree wrapping gifts and when I pulled out my gift station I thought to myself well, why don't I share this with all of you guys. So a couple things you're going to need. The great thing too is other than one thing um, everything else is Dollar Tree. This is a 100% Dollar Tree idea and it is so, so cool. So the very first thing you're gonna wanna grab is the under the bed storage bin. And this is one that I've had forever. And uh, we're gonna create a DIY gift wrapping station that we can, as soon as I get this lid off, there we go, um, that we can keep wrapping paper and stuff in to wrap gifts. And I'm telling you, I'm uh, there's some crazy out of the box ideas. Now, in addition to getting your bin, the only other thing that you're probably going to want to grab are some of these Dollar Tree containers. Now, these Dollar Tree containers are great because they do come in a three pack and um, you can kind of keep them together right now if you want, because it's really gonna dictate on like how much space, but like these types of things are good for things like tape and your scissors, probably not scissors in that one, we'll put it in that one, but you get the idea. So it kind of helps separate things, but also like pens and markers and things like that. Literally, I want you to be able to, if you are wrapping a gift for somebody, to literally just go to your gift wrapping box that's maybe under your bed or up on a closet shelf, grab this, you've got everything that you need. Now, the first thing that I always, always grab is wrapping paper and I will get a variety of wrapping paper because I want something that's going to be all season long and uh, you can see in here I grabbed something that's just kind of very classic that I've got and look by the way it fits I can't see it fits perfectly in these under storage whoopsie I hit the tripod um in the under storage then you've got something that could be really generic and fun like this could be something for like the holidays. You could use this for birthdays. You could use this for Mother's Day. You could use this for a lot of different things. That's why I like having wrapping paper options like this that are kind of generic, that really kind of just kind of set the tone. I love that one too for my pet lovers. I have lots of friends who are pet lovers and you can do some fun things with these too. And then of course, something for the holidays, whether it's Christmas time, Valentine's Day, I tend to buy more kind of holiday gifts, Christmas gifts around this time of year. So I'm always going to have that in here. Now you can kind of stack these on top of each other like I've done there. And then that gives you a lot more space in your bin. Now the other thing that you want to have on hand every single time, and I love the Dollar Tree for this, are gift bags. Now you can get, you know, your traditional kind of Christmas gift bags, which I've got here. The great thing about these gift bags too is because they are flat, they're going to lay right in the bottom here and they are going to, again, just fit right under that wrapping paper. So you've always got some gift bags. Now I'm gonna shift mine to one side. That way I've got everything here that I need. And again, you know, the, the wrapping paper is gonna roll around. It's not a big deal. Um, I think what I'm going to do actually is just show you all the different gift bags that I put in here. So I also put these kind of gift bags. And then I also have some smaller ones, like these little collections of gift bags that you can get at the Dollar Tree are also really, really great. And um, I'm gonna show you what all this looks like as soon as I kind of place these gift bags, because I have a lot of gift bags. And um, again, some birthday options, some generic options that are gonna go in there. They're just gonna lay on top. I'm gonna put the smaller ones on top, that way they don't get lost. And then I love to grab 
these wine bags, any kind of wine bags or champagne bags that you see, always, always great to have on hand because you never know when you're gonna be invited to a party or to an event. And then um, you can always grab lots of ribbon. I love these kind of crinkle ribbons. You've got the gold, which obviously is going to go really well with some of the Christmas stuff, but then also it's generic enough that it can go with some of the other things. And then you've got some of these other generic colors, which really could go with a lot of different things. So I'm gonna show you what this is starting to look like, just so you can kind of get the visual here and you don't hear me, uh, you don't hear me talking you know, the entire time. Like, look at this, right? Super fun and then pair it with something like that. So, so fun, or even pair it with something like this, right? And that's what you wanna do. You wanna buy ribbons and things that coordinate because could you absolutely use this for Christmas? Absolutely you could. You could also use any of these for any kind of holiday. You know, maybe not the snowman and the Santa Claus, but um, you know, you may wanna reserve those for Christmas. But um, this is what we're looking like so far. So you've got gift bags, you've got wrapping paper, and you've got a ton of ribbon options. Now, again, I want you to get these little containers because these containers are going to be great to have on hand because you want to. I like to, uh, even though I have scissors and things in other drawers around the house, I like to keep all my gift wrapping supplies, all my gift wrapping station things in the one bin because I know it's in there when I reach for this bin. This bin is going to have literally everything in it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use all three of these um, because I'm kind of trying to like organize this a little bit better than um, what it has been in the past. So I grabbed some pens. I want to have pens in here because um, let's grab our scissors to because again, I want to be able to just reach into this one container and grab everything. So we're gonna open these pens up. Scissors are working nicely, which is a huge plus. And so we're gonna take these out. The packaging fights me all the time. So drop those in there. Now you've got pens. Now you've got a place for your scissors. And then I think it's always grab good to grab like some markers, some things like this. These are, uh, permanent markers, or markers rather, from uh, Jot Dollar Tree. And it gives you pink, purple, blue, and green that you can use whenever you are filling out gift tags or something like that. So put everything in there and then you've got that already set up and that's good to go. Now, the other thing that you want to do, let me see, is tape. You've got to have tape for your gift wrapping bag. I have another thing of tape somewhere. There it is. So now you've got tape. I'm gonna pop that in there as well. And literally in this one bin, I can have my scissors, I can have my pens, I can have markers, and I can have tape in there if I wanted to, or I could put them in this rectangular one as well. We're gonna kind of see how everything fits in here, and then we're going to kind of expand from here. Now, what else do you guys think is missing? tissue paper. Let me tell you about tissue paper. If you are trying to find Christmas tissue paper right now, it is pretty hard to do. So I like to have tissue paper on hand. Now, I like to have some generic tissue paper because then I've got something that can apply to kind of all those other gift bags. But then this one you can find at Dollar Tree right now. This one is actually available at Dollar Tree. And what's nice about it is it's got red in there. It's got green in there. So it's perfect for Christmas and for the holidays right now. Then you've also got these other colors that you can use throughout the year. So I will just take my tissue paper and I just kind of put it down, just kind of nestle it right on top. Let me see if I can kind of tip this forward so you guys can see. It's kind of a wonky video this time, but you kind of see what we're working with here and how much space we're really going to have. Um, let's see. Now, the other thing that I do like to include in my little gift wrapping station. And again, right now I've got six rolls of wrapping paper. I've probably got 20 different sized gift bags. I've got a ton of ribbon. I've got pens. I've got tape. I've got markers. And we're also going to add in some ribbon. Now you can have some ribbons that are kind of generic that you can use all year long. 
These are just some that I grabbed from the craft room. But then I think it's important to also have, of course, the Christmas ribbon because you are going to be doing some Christmas wrapping, or at least in my case, I'm going to be doing a Christmas wrapping. And then you want to kind of go through and really, now I just grabbed some ribbon from the craft room because I wanted to show you guys just the available options. So this gold, this gold is not technically considered a Christmas ribbon because I picked this up in the um, section of the Dollar Tree where like all the gift wrapping supplies are and it's gold. If you're trying to find gold ribbon right now in the Dollar Tree section, you're not gonna be very lucky because it's pretty hard to find it. So right now with just these two ribbons, I've got stuff for my Christmas wrapping very, very easily. And this one I've had for probably three or four months. So that is down in here. And then again, we're just going to add some of this other wrapping or this other ribbon in here too. So again, I've got something that is perfect for gift wrapping. Now, if you wanted to go a little step further and kind of organize your ribbon, maybe you don't have quite as much as I do, you certainly could do something like this and that would help keep it kind of stable in here. But for mine, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of move past that. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of stack it in here. But again, after I show you another thing that you want to consider in your gift wrap box, um, you're gonna be shocked. You're gonna be shocked at how much really goes in here. Now, the other thing that I love to do, let me stretch over here to get these. Um, the other thing that I love to do whenever I'm creating my gift wrap box or kind of refreshing my gift wrap box is of course you wanna have gift tags, right? Gift tags, grab them for Christmas, but go to the crafter square section. Go to the crafter square section and buy things that you would not expect to be used as quote unquote tags and tie them onto your gifts. It's going to elevate your gifts. People are going to freak out when they see these. And these like little laser cut wood pieces, right? These are perfect. Look at those florals, right? How great would that be for Mother's Day or something? Or just to tie something onto the gift and tell people that you love them and just do it a little differently. The other thing that you can do, remember that uh, wrapping paper that has the uh, paw prints on it? Like why not take a chalkboard tag and use that as your gift tag? Something a little different, something a little out of the box. These metal tags could look really, really cool on this kind of, uh, this pattern, right? And make something that's going to really stand out and just kind of make people go, whoa, that's a cool gift tag. If you have a Cricut or vinyl cutting machine or anything like that, or an engraving pen, you could write people's names on those metal tags. That would be fantastic. And then again, just the different types of tags that you can get from Dollar Tree. These are also, some more leather or some more uh, laser cut images that are great for that. And then another thing that I really do love are these stickers from the Crafter Square section. These make perfect gift tags because you can stick these directly onto the packaging. Now, the only thing that I don't have in here, and I've actually ran out of it, is um, I like to use the, um, the brown paper that kind of looks like cardboard. I think you probably know what I'm talking about. That is really, really fun to use for gift wrapping. And the reason why I like to do that is because if you tie something like this onto it, or even these laser tags, and you use something like macrame cord instead, that is going to elevate your gift and people are going to go, what? That's crazy, I would have never thought about it. And it's because you are crafty and you are creative. So you want to use something like that. So again, we've got that in our gift basket bin here. And again, I wanna show you how much is in here. I know this is super wonky, I apologize for this. And then there's my sleeve. But you, you kind of get the idea, right? Because it's got a ton of stuff and we're not done yet. What is the other thing? that uh, I know I personally always run out of whenever I am uh, doing a gift of any kind. And I use this also just if I need cards for somebody. I need a birthday card, I need a holiday card. I buy cards. I will buy cards at Dollar Tree when I see cute ones or when I see these packages of cards or thank you cards. And I will include them in my little gift wrapping box because anytime I need a holiday card, anytime I need Christmas cards even, they have these packages of Christmas cards that you can get at Dollar Tree. This is 12 Christmas cards. I don't tend to send out a ton of Christmas cards. So like something like this is kind of perfect for me because 
if I don't use them all this year, it's okay because they're not dated. They don't say, you know, I don't think they do anyway. And if they do, I'll, I'll get rid of them or I'll use them in a DIY project. But these are also my favorite things to grab. These expression kind of thank you note cards that you can get from Dollar Tree. They are hanging on a little end cap that's kind of next to where all the cards are. What I love about these is that they are blank inside. Like this one has butterflies on it. You know, my grandmother. And uh, anytime we kind of see butterflies, we think about my grandmother. This one is blank inside. So I can use this for thank you notes. I can use this for if I'm sending mystery box collabs out and I want to send a little note with that, I can use that. This one is also blank inside and I think it's just kind of masculine looking. I thought that that would be great to include like maybe for I'm sending out messages to contractors or sending out, you know, real estate prospecting or anything like that. Thank you notes even. That could be something very cool. And then this one as well. This is blank inside, but it says with thanks on it. And I got all of these at the Dollar Tree. This was $1.25. And again, everything is fitting perfectly inside of my under the bed bin. And then the last thing that I try to do are also grab some gift box. Just now, this gift box, um, was a um, kind of a nesting set that was available at Dollar Tree. Um, there were two other gift box sizes that were in here that I've used. And uh, the other thing that I did have that I need to replenish at some point, um, I had silver version of this ribbon here. And as you can see, it went perfectly with that box. This is a great gift box to have on hand in your station. And then these little boxes are just good for jewelry pieces or different things. Um, I will go to like, if I'm at a, um, a Christmas market or some kind of artisan market. And if I find like a little ring or necklace or a magnet or something, I think that is, you know, small and cute for a friend of mine, I will kind of put those in there. And then the last kind of thing is always have a couple of these. Um, I have mine wrapped under the tree right now, but uh, gift card boxes, these gift card boxes are really, really great. And uh, make sure you don't leave that stuff out for the kitty cat to get. Um, I don't know if you saw, but Mr. Otis is creeping around back there. And uh, I always grab those as well and have those inside here. So now I have got everything. Look who, look who made an appearance. Hi, buddy. Hi, how are you? But now I've got everything that I need for my gift wrapping station. And again, I can go through here and kind of use these little containers if you want. The other thing that I think is really good for like your pens and pencils and stuff, especially if maybe you're not, like I'm just sliding this under the bed. So there's not gonna be a lot of crazy movement or anything. And I expect everything to stay within this bin. And if it doesn't, it's still gonna stay within the overall gift wrapping bin. So like, that's a good thing. But let me show you everything that is in here. And this is something that I have for all season long, not just Christmas. I have gift boxes. I have uh, ribbon. I have bows. I have tape. I have pens. I have scissors. I have thank you cards. I have holiday cards. I have some generic cards. I have gift bags, I have wine bags, I have six rolls of wrapping paper, and it's all in this bin that's still not even full. That is literally going to slide under my bed. And any time I need it, all I have to do is go under my bed, I grab this out, and I wrap presents with it, or I grab a greeting card with it. So, so easy. Probably one of the best things that I've done. I love this so, so much. And I'm gonna show you kind of an aerial shot so you can kind of see what everything is and uh, just see how easily and how beautifully this all just kind of packaged up inside of here. All right, you guys, that is my gift wrapping guide and my gift wrapping tips for all of you. Definitely do something like this. You can buy this all year long. You can literally get one of these under the bed storage bins at Walmart or somewhere. I'm gonna link some here on the screen for you that you can take advantage of. They're so good for many, many things, but for this kind of DIY gift wrapping station, I think that they are perfect. And uh, again, it's something you can use all year long. All right, guys, take care and I will chat with you later. Bye-bye.